Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the road famous comedy store main room for our brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hatchway. Hi, everybody. Make some noise here at the number one live podcast in the world. Brian Redband is here. Hey. There's Josh Martin running around. I'm Josh. Ryan J. Ebelt is back drawing tonight's episode. He's uh, back. The artist of Kill Tony the book and the Kill Tony official posters, all available at ryanjebelt.com. And, and oh, you yeah. drew last week's episode, even though you were back in Texas, right? And it's sexy. It is awesome. I saw it today. Yeah. Ryanjebelt.com. Comedians, yeah. how you guys doing? Excited? Nervous? Anything can happen? The great Aphrodite is here. Look at that. Hell yeah. She just blew me a kiss. Um, I'm pretty pumped, about, uh, pretty pumped about the fun people like Aphrodite that we get to work with uh, here and there. And, you know, it's important to work with good people. Are you hiring? Every business needs great people and a better way to find them. Something better than posting your job online and just praying for the right people to see it. Now, there's ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter knew there was a smarter way, so they built a platform that finds the right job candidates for you. ZipRecruiter learns what you're looking for, identifies people with the right experience, and invites them to apply to your job. These invitations have revolutionized how you find your next hire. In fact, 80% of employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day, Tony. One, one day. 24 hours. And ZipRecruiter doesn't stop there like I just did. They even... <laughs> They even spotlight the strongest applications you receive so you never miss a great match. The right candidates are out there, and ZipRecruiter is how you will find them, Tony. Yes, indeed. Maybe I could find somebody that knows how to read. Yes. Uh, especially, uh, I think we've read this thing about 80 times together, and somehow it uh, gets a little choppy every time. It is. And, uh, but I trust you. You know, we've worked together our five-year anniversary of doing this show's coming up June 18th. Yes. And... Uh, and Trust is important, and businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Hell yeah. You guys ready to start tonight's show or what? I love it. Every single week, I, uh, I bring you uh, one of the funniest comedians in the world uh, to be a guest on this show. This week's no different. He's done it before. He is, uh, everything's booming for him right now because uh, Cobra Kai on YouTube Red is a uh, immediate cult classic and sensation. And we're excited to have him. This is a true comedy store comedian, my favorite type of uh, comedian in the world. I mean, really a guy that is funny on stage and in the alleyway talking shit and in the parking lot. I mean, a true, true fucking awesome comedian. A guy that I've always looked up to. Make some noise for the great Brett Ernst, everybody. Come on. Let's do this. No one's going to ever keep you down. Uh, yeah. He's back. Brett Ernst has a new special out called Principal's Office. That's at brettcomedy.com. You can watch it directly. And uh, his podcast, Your on the list. That's right. Which one's mine? Either Anyone. One. Thank you. <laughs> He's available at All Things Comedy. Welcome back, Brett. Thank you, Tony. You look better than ever. Thank you. Everybody Tony. always looks extra good when they have like something awesome going on, like a hit season of a show out. You know what I mean? Everybody always looks better. Well, thanks. Like it's like M maybe it's maybe it's the way you view people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's that. You have a little glow to you. You have like this like nice suntan or something like that. What you do? Anything fun this weekend? Uh, no, I was here, man. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Mitzi Memorial. Well, we I mean, my here. wife's out of town, so, you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just jerked off like five times. Yeah, you know, that's what's All exciting. over the house. Yeah, that's what's fun now. Do you use a, uh, <laughs> let me ask you this, in this modern age of technology, do you use your phone, a laptop, iPad? Oh, phone all day. Yeah, phone, phone all day. day. Now, let me ask you, this is always my favorite question to ask people when we find out the phone <laughs> thing. Do you, do you do like a so? Do you have one of those phones that has the tripod thing on it, or do you what do you lean it up and you put it on your chest? No, like what is I, I your put method? The earbuds in. Oh, just in case, so that this well, way if somebody if somebody's trying to rob the house, they make it all the way to you, just slow stroking it in the living room. For those of you that that move in with somebody, this to the fellas here, uh, you know, you like we are we're all Max. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all like linked up. I don't know that. I don't know anything about computers. 
So I, I go into the bathroom and I'm using my iPhone and, you know, my wife's in the other room on the computer and all of a sudden this trail of filth just starts popping up on her computer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then she's knocking on the door like, what are you doing? Yeah. And I'm like, nothing. Yeah, but, but you, had, <laughs> you had airplay on. And I was all hunched over. <laughs> you know, and, and I got caught because I didn't, it was, it all synced up. Meanwhile, there's clown porn in your iCloud and everybody's <laughs> yeah. in the house well, is dude, freaking out. Well, dude, it's nothing worse than having to explain what you were just rubbing one out to, <laughs> to your significant other. I've had that happen. Speaking of significant <laughs> others, Brett, we have a band that is going to join us tonight. They are the best damn band in the land. Every single week they commit to different characters. I never know what they're going to do. Uh, this week's no different. Make some noise for the Kill Tony band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. It's the Kill Tony band, everybody. Come on, make some noise. You could do better than that. Everything's in place. Getting the whole party started. And here, oh my God. Oh. They are clearly in full mime gear, everybody. Yanking on what appears to be. Uh, my dick. No, that's not your dick. <laughs> wow. Look at this. This is well rehearsed. That hurts oh. my dick. Uh oh. All right, Brian. How you're able to make that about your dick, I'll never really figure out, but. Uh, because it's that. Uh, Jeremiah Watkins is here, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Look at him. Uh, wow. This He's is going to be. He's in a box. He's in a box. There he is. He described it for you podcast listeners. Uh, I apologize. It appears as though they are mimes tonight. Are you going to talk at all? Uh oh. <laughs> wow. This should be a lot of fun. Wow. A big shrug and a smile from Jeremiah Watkins. I actually feel like the podcast listeners are going to love this. Uh, yeah, this is an upgrade. Yeah. I, oh, he has a sad face on. Oh, very uh. good. Wow. You, this has been... Uh, <laughs> Look at his clear, apples. Clearly, they've been through a lot of training. Uh, for Chroma Chris, clearly being a mime, nothing is going to change tonight. Uh, not known for speaking much. This should be right up his alley. And then back here, we clearly have uh, some guy robbing a bank in the 1920s. Uh, <laughs> the Hamburglar, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, on the drums. Look at this. <laughs> What's going to happen here? I feel like there's no way you can stay silent. Yeah, that's, that, that's impossible. Tony. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Everybody's got a voice now. You trying to silence us? All right. Okay. Well, there's a talking mime behind the drums. Goes by the name of Joelberg. Sometimes people chant his name. He's known for going on streaks of jokes like uh, Bill Goldberg. And now people chant Goldberg. They chant Joelberg sometimes. And Tony's no... Don't be alarmed. There's always a part on this show now where the guest goes, what are they saying? Yeah, it's for all the wrestling marks. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Did you say something? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get to the show. I have a bucket full of comedians' names. I mean, a ton of sign-ups where anything can happen. I pull your name out of the bucket. You get 60 seconds of stage time uninterrupted in front of all these, this big pack live main room and uh, the listeners of the show. You know your 60 seconds is up and you hear the sound of a kitty. Then wrap it up or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. That's right. That's what it sounds like. Some jungle birds as well mixed in there. Uh, so there you go. And then we talk to you afterwards, try to find out more about you. You get to be interviewed like a real grown-up uh, half-celebrity. <laughs> you guys ready to start this show or what? It's Kill Tony. Weeks away from the sold-out five-year anniversary, June 18th, here uh, with uh, Joe Rogan and Dom Irera. So for you comedians... Seating is going to be uh, tough, but for those of you that can uh, stay quiet during a show, maybe you can hide in a hallway or something <laughs> for that one. All right, so your first person getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Keenan Floyd. Here we go. Here he is. Someone's coming. Make way, people. There's a live show going on. Here he goes. Keenan Floyd. Coming in at the same speed as The Undertaker, for those of you wrestling fans out there. Not many do you get it. Not often do you get it. Keenan Floyd. Yo, what's up, everybody? How we doing? Happy to be here. I don't have to be because I have a college degree. Uh, and I almost got hit by a car earlier. I found out what, my, what I'm going to say before I die. 
Fruity fuck rolls. That's what I'm going to say. I don't know why I'm saying that, but yeah, I'm happy to be here. Got a college degree. Do you know what it's like when your parents stop being proud of you? You know, because when growing up, my parents, they would compare me to my cousin. You know what I mean? He was bad. I was good. I went to Penn State the same time he went to the state Penn. Four years later, I got out with a degree in computer science. He gets out of prison with a master's degree in IT and no student debt. He's making $100,000 a year. He has a beautiful wife and kids in a cul-de-sac somewhere, and I'm telling jokes on the bus. It's messed up. I'm thinking a lot about, uh, was that it? Hell yeah, it is. Keenan Floyd. How's it going, man? This is your first time on the show, right? Yeah, first time at the comedy store. Do I just stand here and talk in this mic? Yes, I, I, yes, indeed. Uh, that, All right. That is how uh, shows work. Is it your first right, time out good. in uh, public as well? <laughs> but behind bars, yes, it's all good. Behind, would you say doors? Oh. No, I'm just. I don't know what I'm saying. Just keep asking questions. I'm good. <laughs> keep asking questions. All right, thank you. Uh, I love that. Uh, I, w- I didn't know what I was going to do. Had you not tell, told me to keep asking questions. Is that your merch that you're wearing? Uh, uh, so he's got the branding down already. The place it is. Erupts. Follow me on Instagram, everybody. It's his, uh... <laughs> there you go. Wow. How long have you been on stand up? Eight years. Eight years. Where at? Um, I was doing it in central Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, New York, and now here. Wow. How long were you in New York for? I was in New York for two years. How did that go for you? I worked at Staples. <laughs> <laughs> did you find that your comedy career was staying pretty stationary? Oh, God. It never really pretty stuck. Cool. Yeah. Well, it's good that... Uh, what were know. the clubs you worked in New York? What were they? Caroline's, LOL, Broadway, and Gotham. But everyone just called you the Staples Comedian, right? The Staples Comedian. <laughs> the old Mike Binder. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. I really liked your first joke. Is that real that you almost got hit by a car? Yeah, it just happened, it just happened just outside <laughs> just a minute ago. It's, it's a good joke. You, you kind of said it weird. Like, you should say, I almost got hit by a car. And I yelled out, blue, blue, blue. So I guess if I'm going to get hit by a car, that's the sound. Because you, know, you, you, you said it weird. I said it weird. But well, <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. I don't know what just happened. But you, you really emphasize that that's what you actually said because I think it got lost. But apparently you didn't live in New York long if you still don't know how to cross the street. <laughs> how, do you, how do you almost get hit by a car? I actually got hit by a cab in New York City. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't Nobody believe cared, I, you? I, you just I, Yeah, I, just, I got <laughs> just up and just went you? straight. To, I hopped straight to work. Yeah, you still have some of the paint left on your merch. Yeah, yeah, I do. All right, so what do you do for work now? I work at Staples here. You're still a Staples guy. This guy's wow. tremendous. Wow, I love this. <laughs> you know how valuable you would have been like 15 years ago when people were stapling the headshots together? Yeah, and I mean, it's crazy. You know, you've been working at Staples all this time. Meanwhile, you've had all the access to all the things you need to make a good resume. <laughs> Post it on ZipRecruiter mm-hmm. and take care of business. You like, know what I mean? ZipRecruiter, ZipRecruiter. You know what I mean. <laughs> what is what is ZipRecruiter again? I think I was. In you know time. exactly what it is, <laughs> and you can try it for free right now by going to ZipRecruiter.com/killtony. That's ZipRecruiter.com/killtony. One more time, try it for free. ZipRecruiter.com/killtony. Yeah, they they really spotlight some of the strongest applications. Yeah. <laughs> Work at Staples, Dodge Cars. Wow. I'm working on my resume right now. Huh. What was your degree in? Uh, computer science. Oh, man. Yeah, AKA you're, you're Staples. Yeah, AKA you're Staples. <laughs> <laughs> he got his master's yeah. in Staples. Um, wow. Has anything crazy ever happened there? A lot of nervous office workers, you know, people doing last minute stuff in a hurry. What are you really what? into Staples? A lot, of, a lot of old people come to Staples to get into fights. Yeah? Like what? Like what's an example of that? What's happened to you? Um, Other than the times the old people come in and just, wait a second, what's the mime doing over here? Oh, he's a fake phone call. Perfect. I always love it when they do side physical act outs during uh, the serious parts of the show. It's always good. No, one, no old person's ever tried to beat me up, but I've seen old, two old people try to go out. Wow. Especially when it's like an old couple. Um, the, the older wife will like push her older husband on the defend her honor for some reason because they're from the Stone Age. Wow. Mm. Interesting. 
What's, uh, what do you do for fun when you're not doing stand-up or working at Staples? I don't know. Say Staples. something! <laughs> Staples, is, Staples is my life. Wait, what? Staples is my life. Come on. I always have something to say. Nobody ever asks me what. <laughs> Come on. There must, be, there must be other things that you're into. Video games. What is it? Like, do you, you have a girlfriend? What else is going on in your life? Have you ever huffed keyboard cleaner? You got like the... <laughs> That's a good question. No, but the, but the stuff that you use the, the air, they yeah. use the... That's yeah, that. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have done that. Yes. Yeah. Back to my question. Any hobbies or anything other than uh, stand-up and staples? Come on. There's got to be something. You can't tell me nothing. I read, Windsurfing. I read books about IBM processors. I don't, oh, I don't wow. know. I don't know. Is that true? Okay. So you've been doing comedy, what would you say, six years? Eight years. Eight. Oh, God. Ouch. Um, yes. So how long have you had the T-shirt for? Three. Three. Do you always wear it on stage? No. Uh, laundry day. Okay. Do you sell those? No. No. So it's just one of a kind. Just one. And one of a kind. Sells, it's eight hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Keenan, interesting. Well, I mean, like, if you were gonna, if we were, if I were to ask you, like, what's a fun fact about Keenan Floyd? You know what I mean? Like, other than you know hobbies or whatever, since you clearly have none. Like, is there anything like a crazy childhood or anything interesting along the way? Anything crazy ever happened to you in school? I grew up Jehovah's Witness. Does that count? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, I, and so? I got and I got kicked out. Really? How'd you get kicked out? I got kicked out because I broke one of the rules. It was don't have sex before marriage, and I had sex before marriage. Whoa! <laughs> Good wow. for you. Good for you. Hell yeah! Who did you and have sex with? Then they exiled with? him to Staples. <laughs> yeah. Take your red apron and go. <laughs> you have shaved the song. <laughs> I'm, I'm embarrassed to tell this story, but I got this far. Uh, I actually had sex with the woman that um, she, uh, we met off of Facebook, and I found out that she was a burn victim. She was burnt on her left side. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course, Nookie starts playing for this when yeah, burn she got, victim happens. She, got, she was burnt on this side of her body. Wow. That's okay. hot. Okay. Cross, and, uh, cross that off the bucket list. And so that was, that was it. So where'd you, where'd you meet her at? Off of Facebook. Off of Facebook? Yeah, she took it from this angle, though. So. Whoa. Not- <laughs> Man, talk about fucking burnt catfish. Now, I, was, I was two-faced. I was going to say, did, did she flip a coin to make decisions? Yes. Wow. Is that real? For real? Yeah, for real. You think I would come up here and tell people I stick my dick in the burnt chick? No. It's wow. Did it, <laughs> was it know, crunchy? Man. Was it like potato chip? Sorry, oh guys. My God. Do you know what happened to her? How she got burnt? Yeah, she was in the house fire. Wow. Dude, this is awful. Yeah, it is. No, this is great. We everyone finally hates found, we finally found hates what I was looking right for now. this whole time. It's so rare I get to talk to somebody that uh, just for his own selfish <laughs> nut bustings will fuck up. Burn victim. How recent after the fire was it? Because it. Jesus, that got a weird groan. Obviously, a lot of former burn victims in the audience tonight just find this hard to hear about. Uh, was it soon after the. Uh, was she no, still it was, had, a, like, few, Gaza it was a few years after, but she was, you know, she still had the crispy. Crisp. Wow. He <laughs> actually reverted back and started using words that Red Band influenced him to use, like crispy on that yeah, one. Crispy. It probably was. <laughs> Think about it. Was it still crispy? It was, it was cool until she wrapped her arm around. You Who know, made I, the bed ashier, you or her? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keenan, I think that's about as good as it's going to get with us and you. It was nice to meet you. Nice there meeting he is. everyone else. Thank you very much. If anybody wants to buy the $800 shirt off his back, it's Keenan Floyd. There he goes. He's at KJ Films. Obviously, he makes movies and stuff or something like that. So that's cool. <laughs> wow, all right. Wow, it's like that Does, it, does that usually happen? It just takes a left like that? No, I love it. Yeah, you're damn right. When I find out the most interesting thing about a person, I delve right in. But how often do you get to make a burnt catfish joke? I mean, think about that. He got catfish. I think the, a- the ashy joke was strong. Thank you. That was very I heard that girl was a second-degree black belt. 
There he is. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Matt Borges. Here we go. Oh, from the audience. These are always fun. Here we go. Welcome to sit out. Let's get this with over early. Some of you guys might recognize me. Mistakenly thought I was the doorman outside. I don't know. <laughs> Currently at my job, there's a CSI level investigation going on because someone took a glove and put it on a stick and put a middle finger up on it and it might cost somebody their job. <coughs> and unfortunately, I'm the one who put that glove on that stick. <laughs> so I go into work tomorrow and I'm gonna find out if I have a job after that. Worked there 22 years, don't really like my job much. And it might end over a glove on a stick because someone thought it was intended for them. What kind of person sees a glove on a stick flipping them off and thinks, that's meant for me? <laughs> you got to be a serious prick, right? <laughs> Let me hear a cat. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Matt. How are you? Pretty good. How's it going, Tony? You are, okay. That's yes, like a straight in. Uh, Matt, how do you feel? Fitting. The I music feel is like, fitting. I feel like you just signed up for the show because you just broke out of prison and you think nobody will find you here. That's what you're dressed <laughs> like. It's what you look like. I think he's got a strong Seagal thing going here. Yeah. I get that a lot. You Do, do you really with the ponytail yeah, and the, I do, yeah. Yeah, the Alpha Steven, Justice look? Steven Seagal, if he was a barista. <laughs> 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 May I take your order or not? I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Borges. Is this your first time on the show? Yes, it is. Wow. But I feel like I've seen you a lot here. I come a lot, yeah. The last show I missed was the one with Wee Man and Joelberg, but oh, that was wow. the last one I actually missed. Is it, have you always signed up for it? No, this is like my 12th time signing up. Wow. You finally got picked, huh? Finally got picked, yeah. Do you do stand-up other places? First time ever. This is your first time ever on yes, stage. Right. Look wow. at that. That is so cool. There he is, the goat of starting comedy. Uh, it's something you've always wanted to do, huh? Kind of, yeah. I mean, it, when I was a kid, I used to like to tell jokes and stuff, and then uh, listening to podcasts and stuff made me really want to actually try it. Yeah. Inspiring wow. story. <laughs> <laughs> Much like your haircut, quite the tail. <laughs> It's a ponytail joke for you podcast <laughs> listeners. He has a shady, long ponytail. How long have you had that thing for? What's the job that you're afraid of losing? Uh, actually, I'm not really afraid of losing because I hate going What type of forklift do you drive, exactly? <laughs> I don't drive a forklift. I, do it. I have done that before at my job, but uh, we bottle milk and juices for a grocery company. Wow. You re-bottle milk? Not re-bottle, just bottle. All right, that makes more sense. <laughs> why, why does this mime have a New York accent all of a sudden? Did... Oh, I can't be from New York. <laughs> Sorry, people don't come from New York. Where Tony's born from, they're only from Ohio. Uh. From Matt. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Matt, do you always dress like you're in a cult about to kill yourself? No. Dude, be I mean, careful. He's going to grab this sword. <laughs> all right. You do seem like a scary guy. Are you trained in any uh, physical arts? No. Actually, <laughs> I laugh because a lot of people say that. You're imitating. One time from stage, you actually pointed me out and said, that's a scary looking dude. Yeah. And My he asked me how long it's been since I got out of prison. <laughs> Wait, say that again? You asked me how, how many <laughs> days has it been since I got out of prison. How, long, how many days was it? I told you it had been hours. But, but is that the truth? No, I, I've never, been, never to prison. been to prison. Wow. I you actually just... had a... He works with juice. Like, who, who goes to prison and works with juice? Well, I was actually thinking of a joke about because of my ponytails. I just grew this out three years ago. I've never had long hair in my life. Just kind of as an experiment. So I think... What my, changed? You know, It kind of... People... Started getting a lot of fat girls? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know. This That's is, not even a thing. Just people scared. Yes. More, more people scared. This is my prediction of Tony Hinchcliffe's next joke. Oh. He's going to look at your, your, your setup on your head, <laughs> and then he's going to go, how long have you been HIV braids positive? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you wouldn't say AIDS positive. You would just say po- it would be a different thing. I don't know. Would it, Tony? Well. <laughs> Jesus. Does your, Mine's Lord, fucking tough. Does your tail ever get in the juice or anything? Like, did, no, we have to wear hair nets and a hard <laughs> hat and all kinds of stuff. So hard to, hat for juice? For milk. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Why does this guy rebottle milk? Can we get back to that? Are they, are they paper containers or plastic? Plastic, the gallon jugs. Wow. Yeah. Gallons and half the... gallons. Damn. Heavy duty stuff. Do you ever right? steal yeah. milk and juice and bring it home? Nah. Oh, Never? Come on, man. I don't even drink milk, really. Is, is, do mice ever get into like the apple juice and you go, hey, we got a mouse in this one? Like, no. Not Jesus. Too. No, that only happens in your kitchen, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rat. <laughs> we, have seen, we used to do paper cartons and they would be chewed up from rats and stuff. God. Of course, that's natural in any warehouse. Uh, Matt, what else do you do for fun? What else are you into? You have an interesting look for a guy that's never been to prison. Like, what is it? You from like, a, what are you from like, a, about an hour north? Yeah. Really? <laughs> like Modesto? Is I'm from Moreno Valley. Valley. Say that again? Moreno Valley. Did everybody just hear me nail that again? Last time I did that, it was about two or three months ago, I guess. I've seen you do it before. It's 45 minutes north. I go, where are you 45 minutes north from here? And the guy was literally like, oh, that's crazy. You say that. He named the city. And people were sending me stuff when that episode came out with the actual estimated distance from the comedy store to the city that they said. And it says, you know, driving distance, 45 minutes. And I just did it again. I can literally, I've gotten to the point now. I've watched enough Breaking Bad and gone to Joshua Tree enough times and played Grand Theft Auto enough to know exactly where you're from. Somehow I knew you'd see it on me. And it's on the northern part of all those maps. Uh, So, wow. What did your family do? Were you raised in like a trailer? No. No? (laughs) Single mom in a house. Single mom in a house. I was going to say single parent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would have been my guess. Do you have siblings? I have an older brother and a younger half-brother. What's your older brother do? He actually works for a different grocery company. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> rivals, huh? And my, mom worked, my mom worked in a grocery store, so. Wow, wow. you guys are a big job. grocery store family. Yeah, huh? we went, when we went on strike a few years, or it's been a few years now, but the whole family was out. So. And your, your dad kidnapped the kids that are missing on the milk cartons? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what's your love life like? I have a girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah. Does she work at the warehouse? No, Where'd she's... Where'd you meet uh, her? I just met her at a club. <laughs> what kind of clubs do you hang out at? That's what I picture is that no, song I don't, being No, I don't on. really go to clubs. This was 10 years ago. I met her in a... Just wow. It was actually like a restaurant, but they had a club at night, you know, in huh. San Bernardino. Hmm. Whoa, <laughs> San Bernardino. Fuck T- yeah. Talking about the bar at Chili's, or like <laughs> <laughs> a little TGI lower Fridays. class, a little lower class than that. I think the girl Keenan Floyd had sex with was from San Bernardino as well. B U R N. All right. Well, <laughs> Matt, I guess we're gonna keep moving on. It was fun, uh, Thank you. you know. Uh, good job for your good first that, time. Uh, you Thank popped you. your uh, cherry. First time ever on stage, guys. Matt Borges. That's how it happens. He popped his cherry pie. Let's keep moving on. Let's meet somebody new. You guys having fun out there? Damn motherfucking right you are. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Sam Cutter. Sam Cutter. C-U-T-T-E-R. I don't see any movement. Blacklisted. Sounds like he might actually be a cutter. <laughs> They're just pointing at some guy. Is Sam Cutter there? He's Jesus. busy in the bathroom with a All razor right, blade. Put your hands together for Josh Gonzalez. There we go. Movement. Farthest part of the uh, actual comedy club. For those of you paying attention, there's like 15 empty seats right here next to where the actual show is. Here's Josh Gonzalez. Come on, make some noise for Josh, everybody. You can do it. Do you guys ever look at tongue piercings and ask yourself, what the fuck, mom? <laughs> She's only 43, and it's, it's, it's awesome because we're, we're like, we, we get along, but what sucks, sometimes I'll be getting out of the house and be, she'll be like, you know, and <laughs> It's really uncomfortable because I don't know how to respond to her. And then once I did it back, 
And then she said, that's wrong, Josh. You need help. And, you know, uh, I didn't know what to do when she told me that, so I uh, just didn't get it. <laughs> didn't get it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so it's, uh, what, the fifth uh, month of the, of the year? Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, but, uh, no, seriously, guys, it's the fifth month. Fuck yeah, joke of the night so far. Pretty sure it was a complete accident, but that's comedy for you. Yeah. Fifth month of the year, eh? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Dude, your mom's 43? Uh, no, I don't know how old she is, actually. Wow, you're just hey, or, or what month it is. <laughs> it's Josh, idiot. I have a question for you. Why yeah. do you look like a police sketch? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> huh. Interesting. How long yeah. have you been on stand up? Uh, like, I'm like off and on sometimes because I, I, I get like. I get yeah, we could tell you were off tonight. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I heard laughs. So it's gonna what do you mean off and on? Like, sometimes I take a break because I'm like. Like, how long's a break? Like a month sometimes. Uh, how long's on for? Uh, like, like a month. Okay. Yeah, I'm so like off and on. Like, I'm right. seriously just trying to figure it out. It's like a diet out. plan. But yeah. I, no, I love this shit. I, I love doing comedy. And how long you know. So how many months that you've been yeah. on combined does that equal like, to? Oh, like combined, like maybe six or maybe maybe more. I don't know. Six years or six months? Months, months. Okay. Yeah, so. You've been doing comedy for six months. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, uh, I started when I was like 19, 20, but like I never took it seriously. And now you're 21. 23. 23. Yeah. Wow, yeah, never yeah. took it seriously. So your what mom you? had you when she was 20? What's that? Your mom had you when she was 20. I don't fucking know. I, I he really has no <laughs> idea. I'm, 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 I'm going to keep pressuring no, him. We're not going to find out. <laughs> you close I, I, to your mom? Is she even like real? Tw- she, uh, I think so, yeah. Because I've never seen anybody just talk about, you know, your mother like that. No, no. Uh, she's like With the her... tongue ring and, 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 and mock and eating vagine like that. Does your mom really have a tongue ring? Is that true? Uh, is uh, any of this shit true? Man? No, it's not. I can no. already tell it's not true. No, it's not true. So, right. you, so you made all that up when you're uh, doing all that? No, I mean, I wrote that. Yeah, I made that up. So your mom never did that? No. So I... this is going on in your fucking Hold on. Imagine. Jeremiah, for the podcast listeners, Jeremiah has now gotten up in front of uh, Josh Gonzalez. This is Josh's first time on the show. Jeremiah is in full confidence mode. Uh, just nothing is happening. Jeremiah has the microphone at his waist and... Are you even real? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm real. Oh, shit. Josh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work at a law firm. What do you do for the law firm? Uh, I'm like the paralegal su- assistant. You're like the paralegal's assistant? Is this another on-again, off-again no, no, thing? Is <laughs> this true? Uh, yes. No, no. Uh, mm. Is this where you learn to tell all your lies from? <laughs> <laughs> no. I just, uh, I, th- I, think, I think I have a, I think I just like to lie sometimes. But no. Uh, uh, Are you being honest about that? Why? Are you lying? You know, he, you see how he just squinted his face that because the last time Jeremiah spit all over the side as his face. Anyway, uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Wow. So you oh, the, you've so never the, spit on a face before, Red Band. <laughs> You're disgusting. Yeah. No. Um. So yeah, I work at a law firm. I uh, no, I got that. Oh, so, yeah. of all the things that you could lie about and make up, why are you doing the the you know, tongue flicking signal <laughs> well, to mean, your own mother. Well, the thing you, is, you don't like, even clearly know that well. It, I mean, I do. Uh, you don't even know how old you're. Yeah. Are you close with your mom? Yeah. You talk to her a lot. Yeah, on the phone. Yeah. Uh huh. Where does she live? Uh, she's uh, she lives like in another state. In another yeah. state. Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, this is very suspicious. Um, is the other state rhyme with Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to use a calling card to for this other state? No, Gonzalez, uh, huh? She, no, she. Li- my parents were divorced when I was like really young, and uh, then you know I just didn't. Is really your forty-three-year-old mother single right now? Uh, Ew, gross. Yeah. So. Does she like guys shaped like a coffee mug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're gonna, you're gonna tip me over over here. <laughs> oh, Josh. So they. They, your, are they both Mexican? Your parents? Yeah. And they got divorced. Wow, I'm surprised they ever got married. Anyway, um, yeah, me too. Stupid, <laughs> dumb. 
So, uh, do you know why they got divorced? Uh, I don't think I don't think I don't think they like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I really uh, don't obviously, know. it's very hard for you to talk yeah. about this. Um, no, I think they just didn't get along, and then at some course. point, they're you like, close with your dad now? I'm, I'm all, yeah, I'm, I'm close with both my parents. Like, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. It was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think makes your comedy so on again, off again? Why do you, why do you, why do you think uh, that you come in waves of doing it part-time? Uh, well, I always the, find that intriguing because once well, I sort of found stand-up, I went all the way in. No, it's, it's, I, I fucking love it too, but it's just some, I, I, I want to get a job. I just want a job. I want to feel stable, I guess. But don't you have a day job? Yeah, but that it's, keeps it's, your it's nights very, open for you to do he something. Works at the paralegal it's, it's, office. Yeah, he's the assistant today. Yeah, but it's, it's very inconsistent. Like they, they have me, you know, they call, like they told, they text me this morning not to show up today or tomorrow. So now I'm like, fuck. Have you ever thought about working at Staples? <laughs> <laughs> do you get yeah. paid? Like, we know a guy. <laughs> How long have you worked at this paralegal office? Uh, for like a year now. A six year, months. and they're just, they sometimes no, six they just months, I'm sorry, six months, and sometimes they just call you and tell you not to come in today, and you're not getting paid for the day. Yeah. That's sort of weird. No, it's I think it's called being a temp. It's un- yeah, it's, un- it's a temp job. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to find something where I'll be stable. Yeah. What are you qualified for? You go to college? You should no. run for office. <laughs> yeah, office depot. <laughs> hey, tell the Staples kid, Mike. All right, exactly. You just <laughs> start hearing no gunshots. We don't, want no, we don't want no beef. <laughs> Uh, Josh, so what do you do for fun? Like, what are you into? Uh, I kind of hang out. Uh, well, me and my buddies sometimes, like, do projects, and I think they're really, I mean... Dude, really you're not being interrogated right now. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, do, do, do projects? What kind of projects oh, do you like, do? Like, like, science projects? Like a no. volcano? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. The kind I, you live in? Right. <laughs> a diorama? <laughs> I didn't even hear him. I actually was just thinking back at this uh, science project that I once did where it was like the dumbest shit ever. I had to do it like the night before everybody else had done it for weeks and I decided to uh, test whether it was like alkaline batteries were better than non-alkaline batteries. (laughs) So my plan of doing it was to just have a flashlight go, like one with Duras or one with uh, alkaline and one without and... uh, it was stupid because I realized halfway through the night that neither one was going to go out through the night, so I wasn't going to be able to get a real read, so I lied on it, just like Which you did. did you and say? that brings me full circle back <laughs> to Josh. Did you I have like a, a, a twist at the end, like the whole time the non-alcohol line no, was better? No, I just or? lied through it and got a C. That's pretty much it. Right. I remember just getting ba- barely getting through it. What kind of projects are you talking about? Like, like just amateur film. You know, oh, like sounds, porn. Sounds like graffiti. <laughs> no, uh, like... Yeah, just amateur films. Uh, like short films? Yeah. Like, what's one of the films about? Uh, it's... I, <laughs> <laughs> Some dude who falls in love with his mom. No. <laughs> no, I really want to go back to that, because I feel like I, I didn't answer that, like, correctly with my mom. You just... You know, my parents were divorced, and, I, you know, shit didn't work out. Just, Wait, we're, we're no, 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 no. It's all good. I, I don't want to... Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. It's we're weird just, that you'd rather talk about that than the short <laughs> film that uh, I gave you a no, perfect I, opportunity to plug. No, I Meanwhile, don't want you to. look that's, at that. That's, like, so you I do mean, short films. That's yeah, what yeah. You say. I you just my, my How short like, are the films? Like 15, 20 sometimes. Seconds? Seconds. Minutes. These are Instagram stories that you're making. <laughs> you're really a viner. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah. You can't tell us what one of the short films was about? Um, well, it's because the friend I'm kind of working with is just very... Uh, he's, I don't know. I just his I, name is Harvey Weinstein. We understand. <laughs> yeah, there's something going on here, Josh. I don't think we're really uh, fi- going to figure yeah, it out here tonight. But she want water or sign up. <laughs> no, it's too late for this. I'm getting rid of him now. You, okay, Josh. It's too yeah, late. Take a drink, man. Don't yeah, take a sip. sip so that you can make it off the stage. Uh, I feel bad for the kid. He's all nervous. <laughs> uh, Josh, it was nice to meet you. Yeah. And uh, sign up again, and uh, maybe we'll get more answers yeah. out of you next time. Yeah, work on your dad set. Okay. There he goes, Josh Gonzalez. Brett Ernst is shaking it. He stands and shakes everybody's hand like a goddamn gentleman. I like your style. I don't like. I don't like to touch people. It's nothing worse when somebody sits down and, and they and they do that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And they give you the left. You ever get the left hand? I do it a lot to people, so I can't. Yeah, really? I yeah. can't critique it because like, I hang out here all the, the time. The dead fish, the left. Man. I mean, really only here with people that I see all the time. It's like, <laughs> do I have to shake your hand every I mean, night? I know. 
I think one shake should like last a week here. Yeah, totally. No, He's, I agree with that. Yeah, we're allowed to ignore you for a week, you know. It's too many handshakes. It's this place, the comedy store specifically. You know what I mean? Where you just fucking go everywhere. All right. Pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like an interesting one. Put your hands together for Saad Alessa. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Saad. I'm from Kuwait. If you don't know where that is, I guess you didn't give a shit about your tax money in 91. Uh, <laughs> Kuwait is a very small country next to Saudi Arabia and Iraq. Uh, I meet a lot of people that have no idea where Kuwait is. I'm starting to believe Americans just see the Middle East as one big land of inspiration for Call of Duty maps. Um, <laughs> any Middle Easterns in the house tonight, by the way? Two, three, as long as we're under five, you guys are safe. There's two exits. Um, <laughs> if you know anything about Middle Eastern culture, uh, parents think you're supposed to be ready for life right out of school. So my mom calls me the other day. She's like, Saad, what, what are you planning on doing? You just graduated. I'm like, Mom, I think I'm going to go into stand-up. She goes, stand-up? Stand-up where? And I'm like, no, 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 Mom, stand-up comedy. She goes, ah, so my son is a clown. And I'm like, no, Mom, I'm not a clown. I actually have to prepare and perform. If I do well, I can make a career out of this. She goes, hmm, my son is a clown. And I'm like, Mom, can you show some support? She goes, you know what? You're my only son. I'll always love you. Here's a joke for you. Two parents love their kid. Put him through school. You can ah. go ahead. Hold on. You know, stop, 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 stop. You can go ahead. I want to hear the rest. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. What's your mom's joke? Yes. Yeah. So my mom goes, two parents love this kid so much. Put him through school. Worked so hard to make sure he was okay. Got his degree. And now he's a clown. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, got it. No, I got you. I got you. I like it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Appreciate it. I like it. You seem like uh, the, you're the first person that we pulled out of the bucket so far that's not a little bit bipolar, so this is exciting. <laughs> uh, you seem completely aware of what's happening. You seem like you sort of have it together. And by, by the way, the politically correct term is mine, mine. Not, not clown. Are you oh, all right with that? Okay. He looked a little offended. I am not a clown. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. You're good. How's it going, Saad? It's going great. I can't complain. I mean, I was here for the potluck, didn't get my name called out. It's awesome that I'm up here with you guys, so thank you for having me. You live in L.A.? I do. How long yeah. have you lived here? Nine years. Wow. Yeah. Uh, where are you originally from? Kuwait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm he, could, he couldn't wait to hit that one. Well, he, he could wait. He could wait. It's a Kuwait joke. Look at that. Oh. You see that? You could wait. It's from Kuwait. Son of a bitch. So to answer your question, I'm from Kuwait. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. So how old were you when you moved over here? 18. Wow, that puts you at about uh, 2001? What the fuck? Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on no, hold I'm on. kidding. 2001. It's a 9-11 yeah. joke. Yeah. We don't forget, unlike you, obviously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus, this guy. 2001, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, right. Whatever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, Kuwait, remind me, that's in or near. Can you give us a little? Saudi Arabia and Iraq. It was in the set. Come right. On. That's, uh, that's where Saddam invaded you guys in 19. Yes, and then one? America kicked his ass, so thank you guys. Yeah, yeah we, we, we did got that. him out. We yeah. did that for you. USA. <laughs> USA. And you repay us by coming here and bombing on our stage. Oh, yeah, we it's appreciate just not that, right. by the way. We really do. Just sometimes it's too easy, you yeah. know what I mean? No, I like his comedy. I think he's gonna be blowing up real soon. Man. <laughs> I agree completely. I think he's one of the top young comics to watch out for at the airport. Uh. Oh. Yeah, if you keep it up, you're gonna go real Jafar. <laughs> When it comes to getting booked, he's one of America's most wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good one. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't think he... <laughs> in, fact, I, in fact, I heard he even has his own pilot working for him right now. Co-pilot. Pilot. Oh, there you Let's go. Let's pay. Sure. Anyway, who gives a fuck? So what's your, uh, uh, as a, a member of a dark-haired culture, <laughs> yeah. uh, what's your favorite cologne? <laughs> I, I don't have a favorite. Are you oh, shut the fuck You're up! You're not real. You are not real. 
No, yeah. I'm serious. They're, they're all flammable. It doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. What well, is I, this? I could give you some tips. I, I got, I'd I love got that. It's your car, right? Yeah. Your car was in middle school, bro. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. back. Yeah. See, so you don't use cologne. <laughs> I use cologne. I just don't have a favorite cologne because I switch them up. Oh. So what's your, like, all right, I got, like, different scents, night scent, day scent, gym scent. <laughs> yeah. Fitty uh, scent. <laughs> what's, what, like, what's your go-to scent? You're going out on Come a Come on, day. you know there's a go-to. Come on. I mean, I'm Arab, so I guess something with oud for sure, you know, oh, yeah. something heavy and subtle. Oof? What does that mean? Let's help. Okay. <laughs> Red band. <laughs> Red band. <laughs> What's your favorite thing? Uh, do you ever go back and visit? Uh, every Wait. now and then, yeah, but I just made a commitment to stay here full time and pursue what I want to do, you know? I love that. How long have yeah. you been doing stand up? Uh, s- around six months. This is my first time performing at the comedy store. Actually. Wow. <laughs> wow. That makes, uh, in that case, I think. Uh, I think is, you have it, a... is it okay to be nice to them? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I th- I th- I, I think you got, uh, I'm not just saying that. <laughs> you seem pretty comfortable, man. You know. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah. wasn't on keep, the inside. Keep sticking with it, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. it. What, yeah. kind of, <laughs> what kind of show is this when the guest asks the host, are we allowed to be nice to the other guests? <laughs> on stage? I don't want to okay? break the rules. I mean, I know There's we're no being rules. douchebags and dicks up here the whole time, but I'd like to break the character for a second and tell this guy he's actually got some great stage presence and some confidence. I think he's going someplace. Yeah. Hell yeah. I do. I think you should stick with it, man. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I also think, though, you, you should look into some cologne. You know. Cologne. No, no, the, no the answer. I'm a little Definitely. offended. What the, how do you make money? How do you survive? That's a good question. So long oh, well, thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, I, 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 uh, he owns a poppy seed <laughs> field. <laughs> Five-year anniversary coming up in June. I Just, finally asked uh, a good question. Good no, to no, know. No. I, uh, I mean, like, really finally uh, dialed in. I meant to say interesting No, question. I know. Yeah. I'm just fucking Because I, I moved okay. here to pursue an education initially, and then out, out of school, um, I went back home, had a job, quit that job, came here, started a YouTube show, and then um, that, I honestly like, just used my savings all throughout the year. So, yeah, th- so There's no steady income. There's no financial stability. It's not yet, no. So you're running out of money. Pretty much, yeah. And then what are you going to do? Uh, I started a small media uh, production company, so we, we shoot some stuff for other companies, like you know, social media promotion stuff, web development, stuff oh, like that cool. on the so, side. So you don't have the so like, coming in. How, how, do you, how do you afford like, the bottle service at Skybar? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm Arab. You get it. I'm, I'm just yeah. No, how do you afford the bottle service at the Sky Bar? I, I don't get bottle service. At, I don't even go to the Sky Bar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that's interesting. Yeah. Your favorite thing about America? Just the fact that you can be who, who you want to be. You yeah. Because so. in, in Kuwait, what? What would happen if you grabbed a microphone and went out into a big, busy I mean, there, street? <laughs> <laughs> It almost runs under the table. I know. It's a good one. <laughs> he gets me sometimes. That one definitely got me. Yeah. Red band. Jesus Christ. You know what you did this time. So, I like, what, 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 what would get you in trouble out there? Or, or would you get in trouble? What would you have to be talking about to have a microphone and a speaker where you're from in Kuwait? In, like, a main... So you want to know what you want to talk about to get in trouble? Well, That's what, easy. What, yeah, go ahead. Religion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I performed over there. You know that, right? Anything at all about religion or just bad stuff about religion? It's, I mean, over there, it's like you don't, you don't mess with religion. You don't, the, let me ask you this. Yeah. I don't know what it's called there, you know, like the priest or whatever in that religion. <laughs> it's called a wizard, Tony. Sure. We all know that. <laughs> but do they ever have a sense of humor? Because, like, sometimes here the priests have sense of humor. Yeah, but they <laughs> I just, mean, and I don't mean, all right. They just don't know that they have it, you know? Huh? They just don't know that they have it. Oh. Are you Muslim or Christian? I grew up Muslim. Muslim yeah. Do people laugh like in their houses and stuff? Like, <laughs> like I mean, I know you can't, but is it just religion? Can, can we just change the topic? Yeah, I want to yeah, make sure not, that when I fly back, yeah. I'm, I'm good to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Tony. Let's be honest. You're stopping off midway. <laughs> They're all just in their huts or whatever, just being like, I am so miserable all the time over here. I do not know what a laugh is. Come on, 
be progressive, Tony. Hey, people. <laughs> what is this changing accent that keeps happening? You know, Jeremiah draws the best Muhammad. Like, he really does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a hobby. Yeah, what is it? Uh, <laughs> I love that. You got a pop from the comedian. Smart, Saad. By the way, smart move. Perhaps a note people could take yeah. for the future is have perhaps something maybe to talk about once in a while, you fucks. I think he means Habibi. Go ahead, Saad. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There's Joel Berg. Joel Berg has risen. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Whoa, wow. Wow. Never brown, mind, you're great. Brown belt? Tenth planet? No, uh, no. Uh, Cabrinha? Mm. Yeah. He's subconsciously telling you to get, get away from the religion shit because yeah. uh, <laughs> and, and, and to just take it down. And that was a, that was yeah. a, a threat. I can sense that. Yeah. Can, can, you do, uh, can you do high kicks or what? No, no. There's no kicks. <laughs> just, I'm so not interested. I can I, do mime kicks. You can do what? <laughs> Mime kicks. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. Sorry. I thought... Uh, I want to fucking see it. <laughs> Dude, I will let him kick me in the chest. You ever uh, have to use your jujitsu uh, self-defense-wise? Anybody ever mess with you or anything yeah, like that? I mean, there's been a couple of incidents, and, uh, you know... Yeah, why'd you point at me when you said incidents I, like I that? I was like, incidents, like... Oh, oh all right. Like you're presenting something. Like, dinner's ready. Like that. <laughs> all right. So, like, what were the incidents? This you were trying to get into the cockpit of the airplane, and <laughs> next thing you know, rear naked choke, he taps. Well, I Throw him in coach. Oh, I was like... Ooh, was he hit his head on the, on the <laughs> flight attendant helper thing. Oh, no. Please remain seated. There's a terrorist <laughs> on the plane. So, I was actually waiting for my bottle service at Sky Bar. And, uh, <laughs> Somebody sat, somebody sat in his VIP section. Yeah. This guy's a fast learner, and I like him. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You got to be when you can only have enough uh, time for three flight classes before the... Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, all right, Saad. Well, you know, if there's anything you could say out to perhaps some kid listening out in Kuwait right now. I uh, mean... Is there uh, something you, if you could say it in Kuwaiti, that'd be better. Really? I mean, did Tony just say Kuwaiti? A lot of Kuwaiti, like <laughs> mo- the majority of Kuwaitis speak and, and, and learn English, so oh. I can say it in English that way. Perfect. We get the let's message. All, let's hear it in English. No matter where you're from, you don't have to be from Kuwait. Find something that you love doing, do it. I love this kid. And just, you know, keep spreading positivity, because especially during this time, there's a lot of shit going on out there, so. Yeah. You know, happy words from a man named Saad. Saad Alessa, ladies like and gentlemen. Name. There he is. Ooh, he got the hug and the handshake. Pimper, 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 pimper. Hell yeah. Brett and Saad just hugged, and there are eyebrow hairs everywhere right now on the stage. <laughs> uh, there are just thick hairs flying everywhere. Yeah, I was going to give him some eyebrow waxing tips. <laughs> We should also thank everyone that came out to Vegas. We had two sold-out wow. shows. Wow. Like, two, like 400 mean, people. That's crazy. Yes, it was absolutely insane. Las Vegas, you guys are goddamn savages. That was so much fun. The whole band. Did you uh, guys get bottle service? <laughs> no. No, we didn't. No, no but doing that. Tony almost you. got in a fight with a punk heavy metal band. Like, no, <laughs> I didn't almost get into a fight with him. He almost started a fight with me. Over uh, what? Like, what happened? Because uh, Tony's never talk- wrong. <laughs> Can we talk about this? Are you just... <laughs> See, that would insinuate that I was wrong in this instance, which is hilarious. No, uh, there was a band uh, that played after me, and I made fun of the band because... <laughs> <laughs> From stage in front of 200 people. Uh, right. by, may I say ruthlessly? <laughs> well, it's important to note that the audience was there to see me and not the band. <laughs> Uh, so it was we did e- learn that when the band went on. Easy pickings, yes. Uh, so, but Tony, uh, they had seven people waiting for them to go on right after it's us. True, and one of the seven people had a big mohawk, seven. and uh, on his way to the restroom, when I was uh, talking with nice people and meeting people and taking pictures with fans, he gave me one of those old school like bump it twos. <laughs> but like, I had like a drink in my hand, was like really engaged with somebody. So whenever, when, whenever he did it, like I knew some douchebag bumped into me, but I just sort of like, you know, and he had a mohawk. I, I looked late because like I didn't even want to. Yeah, no, it was. Nerd! Here's, it was what, here's what really happened, all right? 
The guy comes over to Tony. He hoists him up up against the wall. Tony's lunch money starts falling out of his pocket. <laughs> Tony says, I don't want no problems, mister. The bully takes all of the lunch money, spits in Tony's face and says, follow that, you dumb bitch. And Tony goes, I will, bye. It's true. And Tony it's couldn't true. get down because his belt was hanging on that, that little yes. hook thing. I was stuck on the wall. He and then the guy he... took and then the guy took all the money that he stole from me and went and bought inflatable saxophones from Jeremiah <laughs> out in the lobby. Because that's what Jeremiah was doing when the altercation happened. Sometimes you gotta... Yeah. Sometimes he blows merch? up, he blows, yes. He blows up inflatable sax. <laughs> this guy was in the meat cooler of the venue blowing up saxophones because he was overheating while blowing up saxophones. Wait, you sell saxophones? Because he eats so unhealthy that he's in bad shape while blowing up saxophones. And meanwhile, he's taking shots at me. Sometimes you peddle products that you're not proud of because you're not compensated properly <laughs> on, the, on the road. <laughs> uh oh. Joel, you can relax. I think you're getting paid exactly what you deserve, Jeremiah. <laughs> Back to the bucket we go. <laughs> you they make you a know, great neck pillow. If the, you saddest, the saddest thing was that on the way home, he had one that he didn't sell, one of his inflatable <laughs> saxophones, and he was sleeping on it. As a <laughs> yeah. I used it. It was nice. Like I said, they double as pillows. They're great for kids. Cats love them. Uh, make a donation after the show, and maybe Cat I won't have to cats. sell them. Thank you Heck so yeah. much. Indeed. Indeed. Put your hands together for your next comedian pulled out of the bucket. It's been a long time since we've seen this guy. Put your hands together for Brett Banta. Hey. Brett Banta. My sing forward movement. Coming, Here we go. Coming. Hi, my name is uh, Brett Banta. Sorry, I was going to the bathroom. I don't like my face. I like other people's faces. I like my twin brother's face. Because his face, it comes with a hot wife. My friend told me to stand up. She was like, Brett, you got to look at people. You got to smile. You got to try and connect with the audience. You look miserable up there. You look angry. You know, your face looks like you're a default setting for a white guy. In Madden 2018. You look like a defendant. You look like we're all out of life jackets. Thank you. Fuck yeah. Brad Banta. Thank you. Well, you pretty much just uh, said everything I was going to say about you. <laughs> That's really good, Brett. Yeah. Thank you. It's like that scene in Eight Mile. Remember when I, <laughs> he's I don't remember. All away from you. I don't remember there being a scene in Eight Mile with the Trivago guy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I haven't seen it. But, uh, Trivago guy? You don't know who that. Uh, eight son mile. of a bitch is. I haven't seen the Eight Mile movie yet. Oh, so. uh, well, it hasn't been out it's, that long. Yeah, so it wasn't even sure that funny anyways. <laughs> okay. The Chicago guy should have got a way better laugh. Brett, okay. uh, you've been doing this show a while. It's been a long time since you've been on, right? Yes, yeah, We've known while. you for a while, though. What, yeah. Can you remind us some of the fun stuff that we've learned about you in the past, some of the fun facts about Brett Banta? Uh, I mean, I, I skateboard, and... um. I just have a twin brother and an uh, abusive mom. Really? How'd your mom abuse you? Four stepdads. Oh, my mom, uh, she, uh, she would just, she like pour water on me and my brother um, when we were in high school when we were asleep. Are you sure she wasn't bathing yeah, you? Yeah, that's a bath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, well, we were it, one. It, it, She'd it, stick it, us in the sink but, <laughs> and put the water on. <laughs> Did your mom ever used to kickflip you? She did. Uh, so go ahead, wait. She mom grind, yeah. pour, your mom poured water on you? Yeah, she poured water on us, and uh, she made us take Latin, a dead language in high school. We had to take that. So Wow. <laughs> um, oh, she was an abusive mother. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Catholic. Yeah. Latin. Have you ever used that for anything? You ever, 
you Latin? speak Latin during anything? Do you still no, know I how failed to do it? it? I failed. I had, to, I had to go to summer school and take Spanish. But I, Latin, I don't know how to say, wow. say anything. What happens like when you fail out of Latin? Do they uh, walk you through the town with a lady ringing a bell <laughs> saying, shame, shame? <laughs> shame, shame. Yes. Shame. There um, you go. You got what I said, Brad. How old are you, man? 45. 45? Yeah. 40. Say Latin. Yeah. Yeah. 45. And how long have you been on stand-up? This is the beginning of my fifth year doing it. Beginning cool, of your fifth year. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember you being on some of those very early episodes of Kill Tony, right? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. So what's changed for you in, in the last uh, five years? What do How you has Kill now? Tony changed your life? Um, <laughs> I made a lot of good friends, and, uh, and I'm just trying to get better at stand-up. I'm just trying to get more comfortable on stage. And um, When I was taking a piss and I heard my name, I panicked because I did, couldn't wash my hands, but I... <laughs> I was a little nervous getting up, but... Oh, fuck, yeah. yeah. So anyone who follows him, uh, lick the mic. But I didn't... Oh. It's not that bad. The three guys before you pretty much shit on stage, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I just... I'm trying to just get up more, and uh, I started my own comedy show at my house, which I like doing. Yeah, oh, host. you do it at your house. It's yeah, great. I do it at my house. How big's your house? Jeremiah is indicating that it is indeed a good show. Yeah, yeah I've, me, I've done it also. It's yeah, me fun. too. Yeah, no, um, wow. It's, that's like yeah, a it's, thing. There's like a couple people doing it at the house. Yeah. Yeah. How it's do you like own a, a house? Uh, just, how do you have a house? Try to buy a home out here? That's true. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. It is a good question. How do you have a house? I got a house uh, when I was in my 20s. I, I got stocks and. and this guy's smart. Wow. I worked at this place, and, uh, and that was the one thing I was able to get. I mean. You did good. I got it a long time ago, so my, my, my mortgage is, like, really low. So. Dude, I've been doing stand up 21 years. I, I, don't, I don't even have a house. Mm. Good for you. Yeah. Thank you. No wow, Brett, at 40. Brett Ernst has had a midlife crisis on stage <laughs> right now. <laughs> I just had a, ch- had a check. Brett with one T. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, fist pump. You didn't wow. wash your hands. Uh, I never get right. it right. Wow. wow. There's not many of us. I know. There's not one. Right. I right. soaked that and one tee. I always meet people with, with two tees. You ever get hurt skateboarding? Yeah, I broke my leg and arm, and uh, and yeah, I've hurt, been hurt. You have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't. I'm still still married. So. Oh, you're married. Mm-hmm. How long have you, How long have you been married for? I, I I I've been married for 18 years. So. 18 years. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the maybe the things that I mentioned earlier when I asked you. Uh, what do we know? About okay, it? So perfect. Yeah. Good for you, man. And yeah, you're from so. out here. Huh? You grew up out here? No, I grew up in uh, Texas and Louisiana. And <laughs> I grew up in Mississippi. Rome. <laughs> so. Married for 18 years. Are you, are you still banging? That's fucking Latin. No, we, um, we, we haven't been, uh, we haven't Thanks. been intimate in two years. Ooh. So that's half a presidency. Yeah. Uh, no, I know. I know that. I, I'm married, uh, too. I can relate. It's, uh, it's tough. Yeah, you um, get friend-zoned by your yeah. wife. Exactly. No, that's what it is. It's like when you, I think when you have kids, you just... It's so hard to, like, find time to, to do anything. Like, you, you kind of lose your privacy. And, and, and you Netflix and chill really means you just watch Netflix and then fucking chill. Yeah. You don't really do anything. Have, have you ever tried, like, role-playing, you know, like dungeon I, shit? I'd love to. I mean, I like busty nurse-type stuff. I like being a patient, <laughs> but she wait, won't do what? that. You want to be – wait, what, you want to – I'd like to be, I like to be a pa- in a patient scenario where I'm a patient, like, busty nurse comes on. Busty nurse, and your yeah. wife's the busty nurse. Yeah, but she won't do that. So does she, you guys, does she have big boobs? No, but I mean, <laughs> how could she even help? be? Just say you're busty, damn it! Just say it. Yeah. Aren't I yeah. so busty? I'm so busty. Time for your uh, checkup. I'm so busty. Uh, big tits. That, Don't look. Big tits. Yeah, that's that's yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Here's well, some. Uh, so. <laughs> Brian looked up busty nurse music, by the way. I can't see. I'm also blind. All I don't right. think they have, do you have... Well, you have sex. Is it a Gregorian chant? <laughs> it's mechanical. What's going on? It's another fucking Latin joke. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ed 2? Is, is this the guy that... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's you, yeah. I know. But, uh, I'm sorry. I'd love to have you guys on, on my show if you guys yeah, would well, ever do it. You basically so... say you want to come to his house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Will yeah. there be any uh, busty waitresses <laughs> walking around? If you're out there, please come to the show. It'd be great. So. All right. Well, stop plugging your show. Awesome. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, so, have you, you think you've ever come close to having sex with your wife in the past two years? Was there like a. a, a did you guys like talk about it? 
Yeah, we have. I mean, we're going to marriage counseling and all that, and it's, uh, yeah, it's 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 tough. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you ever think about cheating on her? Have you? Is there anybody? Yeah, I mean that. That's why I'm seeing a therapist because yeah. you know, I'm a, I mean, I like, I went to get checked uh, like for like a wedding. I had to go get a tuxedo measurement, yeah. and the lady was measuring me in the tuxedo, and, and she's it was like, awesome. "Oh my God, you have a growth on your." You know, it, area. It, it was awesome. It was just awesome to, or being on an escalator, like smelling a girl's hair is like, oh, Jesus. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Where's yeah. sound effects on dude, this? Just, just get a hooker, man. I know, I know, dude. It's, I know, I'm scared. Oh I'm God. scared to do it. So. So, sometimes oh. the wind blows and, uh, you know. <laughs> what escalator <laughs> yeah. were, are, were you on where you smelled a girl's hair? Like, on uh, La Cienega in uh, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> La Cienega yeah. and Beverly. Um, I forgot what it's called. The Beverly Center. The Beverly Center. There yeah. are a lot of escalators there, and there is a breezeway. I can yeah. confirm that. Yeah, it's, yeah. Wow. I just, I, yeah, just, I mean, I'm going to therapy for it. So, for if smelling I, other girls' hair on escalators. Yeah. That too, but I think just my daughters, I, I care about them, so I'm kind of trying to stay and, and be a good dad for now, which may not be healthy, but. Right. It's, oh. Well, it's definitely not healthy when you're smelling your daughter's hair. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, now my daughter's girl's on the escalator. But well, let's just right. hope your daughters don't listen to podcasts. Huh? How old are they? Eight and 11. Oh, yeah. They're not listening to this. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. There you go. Well, Brett, it was fun to see you again. Wait. Thank you so much. Good really set. Good. Thank fun you. times. Thank you. There he goes. Brett Banta, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> like a young Rob Lowe. Hey, Brett. Yeah. Let's do that. A lot, of, uh, a lot of parental issues tonight. Yeah, definitely a lot of people. A lot of Oedipus shit going on. I mean, it's no surprise. A lot of comedians or people that want to do this are a little <laughs> bit damaged. Um, not many of them have the ice-cold glare that Brett Banta had in his eyes. But uh, I skateboarded with him last week. It, uh, you hang out with Brett? Yeah. Yeah? You just showed his house? I mean, he has to smell my hair. And I was like, <laughs> let him... <laughs> All right, so moving on, uh, we have a regular that performs a brand new minute every single week. He writes it, he performs it, and uh, he's a goddamn sensation. Everybody loves him. He's on an absolute kill streak. Let's see what he does this week. Put your hands together for the great and powerful Malcolm Hatchet. Oh, shit, they fighting. What's up, y'all? <clears throat> Why when black people always go off to jail, they always have a little celebration before they leave. One time my cousin went off to jail, we had a cookout, a baby shower, after party. He came home five days late, Thomas said, how come we ain't clean up? I said, nigga, you never left the party. Why when black people hear cop sirens, they start jogging? Whoop, whoop. Whoop. I seen an old black lady with a cane. Whoop. They locked her old ass up. <laughs> she dropped her teeth and shit. <clears throat> I got a homeboy, he mixed. He said, Malcolm, don't trust white people. I said, all right. He said, but give me $20, I'll pay you back. You can trust me. I said, I can only trust half of you, nigga. <laughs> so I gave him $10. He still ain't paying me back. <laughs> so I don't trust nobody. You ever get a whooping growing up by your mama and it hurt so bad you was deaf on her? Is that it? No. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> She beat you and go in the kitchen and cook. You be in the room like, God killed this bitch. And she start coughing. Be like, nah, wait till the food get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Hatchet. <laughs> Fuck yeah, another fun set. I don't know if it was just me, but I didn't quite hear you say when they're going to jail on the first joke. It was oh, yeah. like a little bit too quick, so I lost it, but I caught it. And the second thing, is that true when people go to jail? Because yeah. they try to take care of everything that's going to happen during their... They don't need to be gone for long. So, they just come right back. Then I feel like you can almost add uh, more to that. Like, almost like, you know, is there, you know there's a baby shower. Uh, and you got no this, baby. Uh, yeah. And whatever else is happening in the next five to ten years. Or, like, something like whatever his sentence is. You know, you can figure out the wording on it. But make it more, like, real, if that right. makes sense. You Hell from yeah. down south? Yeah, I'm from North Carolina. Okay, what part? Winston Salem. Okay, I lived in Hickory for you. Oh, Hickory. Yeah. They go. They're known for all their seals out there in uh, North Carolina. They, uh, 
There you go. All right. Well, Malcolm, how's life going? You were in Vegas with us. We shocked That was Las his first Vegas. time in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. He had his first night ever in Vegas. We shocked the audience there. One of the fun things we do with these road shows is, uh, you know, try to coincide surprises and nice. fun things. And uh, they were th- that was a lot of fun. He did a new 60 seconds there and then joined the panel for the first time. And uh, so how's life going? You got a new car? Yeah, a new house. Yeah, did we talk about that last week? Did that happen? This guy since owns last a fucking Monday? home too. Yeah. Was that ha- that that was since Monday, right? <laughs> you got a new Volvo. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we talked about it last time. Huh? Yeah, the great Kill Tony fans. You reached out and uh, they raised more, much more than enough money for even your goal to get you a new car. So what's it like? Oh, you it's went cool. From a '92 Ford Taurus to a 2002 Volvo. I got AC, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That shit. That shit. <laughs> That shit's still on outside. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it on when you're gone like a real house. I get in, I'll be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. What else is going on? Everything else good in life? Oh, uh, yeah, everything good. Uh, my girl broke up with me. Oh. oh. Wow. Sorry, Miss Hatchet. Uh-oh. Wow. There's a stampede of comedians' legs opening in the corner <laughs> over there. Ooh. Oh, shit. Even Aphrodite wow. over oh, here. Wow. Uh, Look at that. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Showing her butthole. Tony, I'm pretty sure uh, every female in this room just laid down. <laughs> 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 and turned around. Shoulder. <laughs> so, wow. This is crazy. Um, and, you know, all the time that I've known you so far, you have seemed like you've always been pretty loyal to that chick. So. Yeah, I'll be loyal, but then I'll still be pimping. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. No, no, no. But yeah, I don't man. even know what that... Oh, okay. I think it's I all good, though. Means. I ain't about to cry no shit, you know. Right. Is she crazy? <laughs> By the you? way, that's the, the exact phrase that black people say right before they, they start cry, crying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't finna cry no shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Did, were you surprised when she told you the nah, news? Nah, because like, we always be breaking up. Man. She we lives just... in North Carolina, for those yeah. of you that don't know. And uh, <laughs> how long were you guys together for? Oh, it was about to be three years. Wow. Wait, oh, my God. That's a long time. Oh, uh, North Carolina. No, how old are you? Uh, 24. Yeah, you don't Nickelodeon. Need, you don't need that shit, man. Yeah. And so you're talking the other day on the phone, it's right? And what happens all of a sudden? It. it was cool because uh, it was, well, I knew it was over because I, I, like, gave her some fresh shirts when I was back home. And she, like, made me a Snapchat, throwing it in the bag. I was like, yep, she wrinkling them shits because they always aren't. So I just I knew she broke up with me. Wow. She was, like, getting rid of my shirt. She was like, I'm going to take them to your mama house. Oh. Like, don't do that shit because then she's going to be my ass for giving her clothes away. She's broke up with you at the wrong time. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, you just got a car and shit? Yeah. yeah. No, I got AC. <laughs> yeah. No, f- uh, you don't need that shit in your life, man. Are you yeah. staying out here permanently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah, yeah, yeah. to go home. Move on. Close, the, back, close the book. Huh. Mm. Well, that's exciting. Have you already hooked up with somebody yet? Nah, but they, they just handing the pussy to me. Really? Good. Wow. I was in Ralph's. So a white girl was like, here, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I love you too, man. Man, so what's going to happen? That Volvo is just going to be the pussy train, huh? <laughs> he ready. <laughs> Hold my lime and ready. <laughs> Man, that's <laughs> interesting. But yeah, so I ain't tripping. It's so you're good. single, new car, signed by a big agent, manager. New deodorant, all that shit. I've done stepped up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Performed in Vegas. What a fun story. Yeah, Vegas was nice. Tony had gave me like $50 to gamble. <laughs> I, I went right to the hotel room and went to sleep. <laughs> it's true. He showed me the $50 bill tonight before the show started. He goes, I still got that. He gave me $50 to walk away. <laughs> that Lay is so down. funny. And, 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 I'm and like, that, here, it's your first time in Vegas. Go have some fun, man. I said, it is. I'm going yeah. to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he didn't have to I, sell one inflatable saxophone. <laughs> 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 Dude, he just slipped your 50. <laughs> Damn. All right. Mowing down the house. <laughs> Shooting everybody. The yeah. mime is. Right. Fucking is mimes. I love this getup. You always have the coolest style, and this is all thrift store, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Wow. The ladies are just howling. Aphrodite over here. Oh, my God. She hasn't been wet since the 60s. <laughs> that sounds like a lake. 
You're, well, you're like Malcolm, a, I just can't tell you how exciting it is to have you part of this show every week and uh, how many people you're inspiring and how fun it is. You're the real deal. There he is, Malcolm Hatchett, ladies and gentlemen. You can clap for Malcolm. The chess king. This is a real story you guys are in on with this Malcolm Hatchett situation. Oh, I can't wait to hear. American Idol and America's Got Talent, all those things. What's crazy is that they're all pre-screened through the roof. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of screening. It's not very real at all. Whereas this Malcolm situation is, uh, you know, a very legitimate. I can't wait to hear his dating, like, every week. Yeah, exactly. That's going to be the new thing. Yeah. How many chubby white girls he's taking? (laughs) (laughs) Back to the bucket we go. Um... Put your hands together for Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence standing up on what appears to be a table. Now she's down. Yeah, she just threw she's a guy She's got a good floor. steady pace. One more time for Sarah Lawrence, everybody. Uh, you can't say retarded anymore. Correct word is vaccinated. Uh, my friend went on a date. I'm fucking puffed out. <laughs> My friend went on a date uh, with a guy the other night, and at the end of the date, (laughs) she said uh, they went to go and have sex, but they couldn't because his dick was too big. And I was like, what is this number? Because I'm always up for a challenge. Uh, My friend is a dwarf, and he posted his workout uh, program on Instagram the other day, and I scrolled down to the caption, and it said, you know, recently I've always been pushing myself to grow. It's a dwarf, uh, there's no time for another one. Oh, people come up to me on the street and they tell me that I'm really tall. Do you know what I say to those people? What gave it away? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Wow. I love that moment where you forgot your next joke and you thought you could change time. Like, that's 60 seconds. And the clock said, no, it is not. There you are. Nice to meet you. Hi. First time on the show, yeah. right? Yes. Hell yeah. How's life? Pretty good. Yeah. What's that accent? Uh, Australian. Australian. Yep. Hell yeah. yeah. And how long have you been in America? I've been here for four years. What brought you here? Um, I'm a bit of a soldier of fortune, so I just kind of go where the money is or whatever. But I was trying to get to America for like 10 years, but... So I was only able to finally get here when I moved to Dubai and then made money in Dubai and then could finally get here. How'd you make... (laughs) Jeez, I didn't even get the question out. Uh, How did you make money in Dubai? I was DJing in Dubai. (laughs) All right, that's not... (laughs) I love it. So you're DJing at a bar in Dubai. Yeah. Where alcohol is illegal, right? Uh, Yeah. It's like a bit of a, it's a weird thing. So like technically you're not allowed to drink, but everywhere sells alcohol. But um, if you're a resident, you have to buy like an alcohol license. Whoa. And then if you like walk, I forgot when I first moved there and I walked out to ask a policeman for a breathalyzer to see if I was okay to drive home. And he was like, oh, have you, have you been drinking? And I was like, oh, no. And then I just ran away. Cause no, I'm you can't <laughs> drive home because you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Man. By the way, 15 years minimum. For smoking weed there. <coughs> really? Absolutely. You get put in prison for 15, 15 years. Oh, minimum. yeah. My friend had weed in her wallet, and it wasn't her. Well, it wasn't hers. And then um, she went to jail, and she was in there for nine months, and they even, like, t- blood tested her and stuff, and she didn't have any weed in her system, and she was still stuck in jail, because you're guilty until proven innocent. Why, why Dubai? Mostly hot chicks that go to Dubai make their money other ways than DJs. <laughs> yeah, well, what, yeah what all the Russian you, prostitutes What made you so terribly want to uh, put a set of headphones on and make Middle Eastern people dance? <laughs> um, well, I was in London, and I got an email, and they said, do you want to go to Dubai? And I was like, well, I can't pay my rent here, so yeah, fuck it, I'll just go to... And you made really good money? Yeah, I made, like, should I say? What kind of... I made, like, 80 grand in six months. And that's not in... Ro- that's money, not roses. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music did you find out that they liked a lot? Oh, uh, they're a bit... <laughs> All right, Joel. Not like... <laughs> They're a bit they're a bit behind over there. They like a lot of like commercial and like R and B and stuff, but I play house. So like what type of stuff would really get them going? Can you give us an example of a song that you would play uh, if you really wanted to, you know? I 
<laughs> no, 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 Brian, Brian. Okay, we get it, Brian. Go ahead. Uh, you wouldn't know. I, I don't play the stuff that they want to listen to. I'm like one of those dickheads who like won't play what the crowd wants and will only play what I want to play. So oh. what you play? Like what you? I play like deep house, like underground like house and stuff like that. Whereas they want to hear like the stuff that's on the radio, which is kind of what you guys like over here as well. And EDM, which is no, you terrible. Don't even know what I like. Whoa! What do you mean, <laughs> you guys? My taste in music is terrible. <laughs> The Mayim Times. <laughs> so what do you do now that you're here in America? Uh, I have my own company. Really? Yeah. Are you the head of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, what? that shit killed in third grade and it kills, it kills now. You're damn right. You are damn right about that. I know you are, but I am wearing a sports bra. (laughs) I sometimes genuinely hate this show, and right now is one of those moments. (laughs) Sorry. That was ridiculous. Sorry sorry you and her look exactly the same. (laughs) Uh, You fucking dork. Oh, I really hate this moment where we're so mean. Catch me in the wave on Roast Battle, uh, Comedy Central, whatever. Jeremy. All right, new season, July, bitch. <laughs> yeah, new season. You mean new two episodes. There's not really a season of that fucking show. And Keep all dreaming. All right, Tony, okay, Keep it's your show. I'll concede. Back to you, Keep my friend. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll let you host up. your show. All right, go back to her. <laughs> Call her you, small Jeremiah. pits and stuff. Let's have a good time. Thank you, buddy. Really all good. All right, no, I love you so much. Congratulations on your great show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, indeed, it is. Oh, no, no, no. I can't wait. Five-year anniversary so weird. next month. Wow, Come look, in. Only, Joe Rogan, Don only three Rogan. weeks as band leader. He's already got a case of the Patty Reagans. Look at this, everybody. Wow. Let that power get right up there, huh? Force of truth. Yikums and schmikums. Okay, yeah. Gang up with Red Band on sound effects against me. Sure. All right. Sounds great. Fantastic. Oh, I'm going to go get one of my inflatable saxophones and kill myself. Great. <laughs> All right. Um, what is the company that you run? It's called Cali Craft Cocktails. Cali Craft Cocktails. And what makes your cocktails so different? Uh, so we make them fresh on site, whereas other companies, they bet you don't care. Yeah, I do. Act like we're Shark Tank. You put avocado yeah, no, in them yeah. or something? Uh, uh, sometimes, but no. Uh, so other companies, they basically make them all before they get there, and then they just kind of dump them out, but we make them fresh. So if you want it a little bit sweeter, a little bit more sour, then we can do that for you. Wow, I figured uh, the drinks that you would make would be a little bit flat. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? What's going on? I'm doing some of my very breast jokes up here, guys, and it seems like everybody's turning on me. Really shallow senses of humor. I mean, she signed up for this. I have a question about the DJ thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, like, a lot of DJs, they do that. Like, you know, I play the stuff I like. Now, you know, like, like you're a connoisseur of music. Do you actually do you just play music or do you create music as well? So I, did a, I actually did a music production course about a year ago. What the fuck? What, what don't you do? I, I actually, you got like yeah. 20 jobs. Do you, do you have a, <laughs> just an expert in everything. Do you have like a cool DJ name or anything like that? Like Puma, yeah. Puma Thurman or something like that? <laughs> Chesty McGee. Um, no, it's I had to change Busty my name. Busty Nurse. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Imperial with a three. Whoa. I-M-P. Can you scratch? But I had to change it. No, that's R&B. That's not house. Um, no, but I'm saying, can you scratch? Can you scratch? No, I can't. That's different. So it's like house music people, they, we mix, we in, overlap songs for like two minutes and make a new track in between, whereas the R&B people, they scratch. The so only thing she scratches is R&B. those mosquito bites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sarah has her hands on her knees laughing. Joel literally left the stage. Oh, he's back. By R&B, you mean hip-hop, right? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. That's what it's called here in America. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've created all of it, including the house music. Oh, Show that's true. Yeah, respect. That, that's true. Yeah. You have a boyfriend yeah. out here? No, I just split up someone. Wait, what, you flew him out? Oh, I split up. Sorry, we split oh, up. Yeah, yeah, split we split up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, what did he do? Oh, fuck. Um, you know, we just want, just want a good match, you know. Huh. Yeah, Man. he owned oil. I feel like there's more to this story that yeah, we're not getting. So a lot that more. Was such a <laughs> dodgy answer. <clears throat> yeah. What did he do? Oh, oh you know. Um, no, we so we created the company together, and then. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Never do that. Oh. Never do that. Oh. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying like you never go into business with your partner because you either come out like you hate each other. And, oh. And, you know, oh. Oh. 
Now does he still does he still own half of the business or not? No, he sold his half. Fifty bucks, hundred bucks, how much? Did you sell it for? How much did you make? Do you own the company? Yeah. Wow. So you got it all. So you bought him out. Yeah. And, and he obviously got the tits. <laughs> oh. I, okay. I'm done making fun of her small tits. I, so I, I, if I were to have like one of your craft drinks, what would I drink them out of? A cups? Uh, <laughs> okay. Guys, I mean, this is the episode that's going to ruin my career, so I might as well commit at this point. Well, you sure really can't be hired by any of the big networks at this point. You, know, Tony, this is you, the you sure as hell wouldn't be drinking them out of jugs. Oh, <laughs> God. I hate myself. To- Tony's next joke. What kind of batteries do you use for your dildo? Triple A's? <laughs> Hey, yeah, I, there you go. I think your Maybe tits are perfect. If I only knew somebody that could blow them up a little bit for you. Hey, Jeremiah, why don't you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing comedy? Um, since January. Since January. All right. oh, yeah. Are you committed to it, or is it just another thing? That yeah, she have? is. Her boobs are doing a spot in the belly room right now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Well, do you ever stop and think about the memories with your boyfriend? <laughs> Of all the fucking nights. <laughs> what? Do you ever watch the show? Listen to the show? I what do you mean? I have a wa- do you ever listen to the show? Yeah, I mean, I've been here for um, like uh, every. And so you say of all the nights. Well, are you saying other nights you have bigger boobs? Yes. <laughs> he has a sports bra on right now. I, yeah, I have a. If I was to, I mean. <laughs> Whoa! I like where this is going. Oh. You want to go in the back? And take it off? No, Brian. <laughs> come on. What are you guys going to show each other your tits? Yeah. I, w- <laughs> I want to see if mine's better. <laughs> I'll show you yours if you show me mine. <laughs> I bet I have better areolas. <laughs> well, you guys will have to take your sports bras off and find out. <laughs> Fucking digs into my neck. Well, well, welcome to bowling, the podcast. <laughs> wow. I love uh, Jeremiah is really offended by these small tit jokes. I mean, the Thank girl you. that they're happening to completely laughing. Jeremiah taking a stand on free speech here Appreciate tonight. It. Really a stronghold. I mean, I thought we cashed all our chips in with the Middle Eastern guy. You know, it's like far. It's like we we win as far. Whatever. Nope. <laughs> nope. There's more chips. There's more. Goddamn I know chips. Brian's eating them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so. <laughs> Very good. Wait, that, that is exactly what Patty used to do. Like, oh, jokes, what does it mean? I remember. That's exactly... That chair is cursed. I love Pat Reagan. Me too. I do too. Yeah. Do you want any, right. the, the, anyone want any Cheetos? Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so do you still DJ at all anymore? Um, I, I stopped. You stopped, and now you picked up the mic, and you want to do comedy? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. You think? Uh, yeah. It's, I'm just in a bit of a transitional period at the moment. It's kind of fucked. Right. No, we could tell. We could tell you're <laughs> right. mid-transition right now. Right. Um. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm, I'm trying to fucking... I do it all for the fans. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, Sarah, uh, what are some other funny things that like you do? What, 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 have you vent, uh, what, what other ways do you vent your uh, sense of humor? Are there any funny things about your drink company? I mean, we just... Uh, we're kind of the only ones. I'm, no, I don't have anything funny to say about it. I don't really. Uh, how do I vent? I don't know. Just how long has it been that you've been out of Australia? Ten years. Ten years. Yeah. And how, again, remind me. Four how long, years. Four years in America. Yeah. And how long were you in Dubai? Two years. Two years. And before that, you were in London for three or four years. I was in London for two years. I was in China for six months. Wow. And uh, some. Uh, oh, and I was in Melbourne. So I'm from Perth, which is the left, and then I was right. in Melbourne for two years. Oh, okay. So eight years. Perth, the gold mining town. <coughs> yep. You ever been to Newark? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lived. <laughs> Um, Sarah, uh... Do you just want to get one quick one in again? Do you do a lot of... <laughs> do you do a lot of spots other places, too? I was here on Saturday night, actually, which was cool. Yeah. Not here, but in the belly room. Yeah, how'd that go? Um, really good. How, yeah, long, was awesome. how long was your set there? I got six minutes. Six minutes. Yep. And that went good. Yeah, it was really good. Good crowd? Yeah, I mean, fuck, I had to bring half of them, didn't I? So, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, ever get, you ever get heckled? Uh, No. 
I mean, I've, I've not been doing it for long enough. Did anybody to... ever heckle you as a DJ? Are you going to do like a boob? There's going to be a boob thing coming up. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, as a DJ, you're just... Wait, gonna... <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I feel like he's like going like... That would never around. happen. We would Small never boobs. set you up for something and then lead you into a boob joke. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. This isn't Kill Tony. What are you talking no, about? No, we wouldn't do that. We wouldn't make jokes. Mm. Yeah, you got to um, have at least a Walla B cup, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. That was I know. both a small boob and an Australian joke for those of you paying Thank attention. Thank you, Tony. Also, not, I know what I did tonight. Not easy to do. Uh, so, did you get heckled as a DJ? Um, no. What, what happens is, um, though, you'll someone will come up. So, let's say if you're playing R&B, which I don't play, but this is going to make more sense to you guys. If someone's playing R&B, someone comes up to you and goes, Whoa, can you play some fucking... EDM or something, which is completely yeah. not the the vibe that's happening. That's By the way, R and B is Jodeci, Guy, True. Oh God! <clears throat> All I'm are, are you spinning that? Mate, no, wait. <laughs> Am you, I wrong here or no? I'm, I'm saying that's R and B, right? I'm who, who did you say, Boys to Men? What was your example? What? No, I, uh, I, I can't. What's R and B? No, so, wait. R and B is. A, <laughs> I'm saying if I'm playing house, someone come up to me and say, "Can you play?" The Backstreet Boys, that kind of thing, and oh, you're that's, like, that's obviously in another world. Are you at a bar mitzvah? <laughs> that's that's making that's making a request. I'm talking yeah. about heckle. No, no, like, no, I no. mean, is anybody have you no. ever been like DJing and some guy in the crowd was like, "Show us your chest," <laughs> like that? No, the worst that's ever happened is someone comes up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah can you pull up some Jodeci? We have uh, we spent a lot of time with you because you are uh, charismatic and uh, and fun. It was nice to meet you. Great. you come back again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Heck yeah. There she Good goes. Job. Sarah Lawrence. Good job, Sarah. One more. What do you guys say? We go to the bucket one more time. You got it in you? Little Tony fans were packing this place lately. It's been fun. little crazy Monday. Are there routine. any like, R&B bands anymore? Um, R and B I'm showing my age, but I'm saying like you know, like like Key Sweat. Joe to see this lady. Yeah, this lady Sweat. just heard about Joe. Casey to see. and Jojo. Yeah, yeah. There's the Migos, but it's not really R and B. But they're a group. Usher. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Maddie Fontana. Here we go. Let's close it out strong. Maddie Fontana. How are ya? I used to hook up with this broad. She loved to bang, but every time she was about to bust the nut, she put a pillow over her face. So all I would hear was And the brain's a fucked up organ. Like Pavlov said, you show a dog a steak, you ring a bell, dog's drooling. Show a dog a steak, ring a bell, over and over again. So you ring the bell and the dog just starts drooling. So after hearing over and over and over again, now I get a hot on every time I hear a deaf person talk. <laughs> well, you guys are on the internet looking for porn. I'm on Amazon Prime looking for audiobooks narrated by Molly Matlin. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's right up your alley. I love it. Hi, Maddie. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Great. Is this your first time on the show? Yeah. Wow. Nice to meet you. How long have you been yeah. on stand-up? About a little over three years now. Hilarious stuff. That was yeah. fun. Thanks. Three years. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's Boston. Uh, I get it. Clearly from Boston, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and uh, how long have you lived in L.A.? 15 years. 15 years. You moved directly here from Boston? Yeah. Wow. What do you do for work? I'm a bartender. Bah. Tend in the old bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, specific bar? The one? Uh, Tonino and uh, Westwood. Hell yeah, I've never yeah, heard of it, but I imagine all the boondock saints hang out there. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Damn. I would have to say the, be- the Boston, I- that's the best thing about Boston and the worst thing about Boston at the same time. Yeah. On a dude, accident. it's fine. On a broad, it's, it's terrible. Disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. Absolutely it's horrendous. It's horrible. Yeah. A lot of crazy stuff happening at your bar? 
Not really. It's a lot of high-end people, like a lot of rich people going there. Oh, cool. You looking for a cocktail company? Yeah, yeah. I know. I was going to hit her up and ask her if I she could play the Backstreet that Boys for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not only will she sell you drinks, but her uh, chest works as coasters. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, did you wear the hat with the B on it in honor of her? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to wear an Oakland A's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, uh, so what do you do for fun? You've been in L.A. for 15 years from Boston. Yeah. Attending. Uh, did street art for a while. Street art? Yeah, I used to Fuck paint. Yeah. What kind of street art? Um, Can you say art or no? Art. I sound like a black person making fun Whoa. of the way white people talk. Oh. Oh. Now the Boston Wait, comes out. Uh, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, that's the real Boston accent right there. I don't want to sound like a fucking black person no, up no, here, no, but no. that, you know, fucking... No, what are we going to say? say? I'll let you elaborate on that. I sound like a black person making fun of the way white people talk when I try to sound like a regular person. <laughs> I got like, you. how's it going? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> that's how we talk to you? That's so funny. Yeah, everybody sounds corny. Man. So what else are you into other than uh, stand-up and bartending? Do anything else for fun? Any hobbies? Escape? Run. Yeah, where do you run? Uh, all Num- of numbers for Whitey from- Bulger. <laughs> <laughs> get, a, get a slice. And the rest of the Winter Hill gang. The over- Did you know any of those guys? I don't know. Nah, they were n- like 90. You know, Steve, I mean, who knows a 90-year-old that you're not related to? I thought everybody did. You know Stevie Blue Eyes? I know who he is. He's a little <laughs> bit younger than me, but I know who the guy is. He opens for um, uh, Callen. Callen. Yeah. yeah. Everybody good knows Stevie Blue Eyes. Stevie Blue we Eyes. met him here on the show like four years ago before Brian Callen even found him. And we were so intrigued by his old cool Boston like mob stories. His, his, his stories are off. fucking really cool. You two should have a Boston off. We'll, have that, we'll make that happen. Do what? Yeah. A Boston off. Oh, I'll you win. Use all the, yeah, you will. I'll win. <laughs> Is he from? You're from Southie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know Ben Affleck and Matt? Both Damon? of them. Both of them yeah. cousins. Me and Mark Wahlberg used to share the same fucking tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're definitely, uh, definitely from South Boston. Are get... you a drunk as well? Like a little bit. Yeah. yeah a little bit. I like to drink. How about how much do you drink on average a night? What's your drink? No, I... <laughs> I don't. Try, I drink like once or twice a month, but when I drink, I drink. Oh, okay. What's your uh, What's your drink of choice? Miller Lite. Miller Lite. So on your one or two nights a month that you go hard, how many Miller Lights will you throw down? Like eight to ten. Wow. Now, now that lets me know you're not a hipster. Are hipsters ruining Boston as well as every other bad city? In it America? happened like 20 years ago. It's yeah. over, right? It's done. Ugh. Done. Uh, the hipsters in Boston. Do they shop at Goodwill Hunting? <laughs> <laughs> Only seven people clap at this fucking shit. How often do you get to make a. All right. Thank you. Jeremiah even clapped at that, and he hates me tonight's ah. episode, so that's when you know it counts. Um, now, did you grow up with like a group of guys? You guys, you know, would fight, oh, yeah. fight other sh- guys? I mean, fight. I mean, everybody kind of fought in the neighborhood. Yeah. But it wasn't like. Did you sell heroin like everybody else? <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> little pause there. Little pause. So, wow, man, your favorite thing about LA that's different than Boston, other than the weather? My accent gets me laid. It does. Yeah, huh? it Women does. love it. Works. Ew. I'm a six. Right. And I get I, 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 I was on a steady incline until I turned 35. Jeremiah. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Jeremiah, does your accent get you laid? You, you all, the t- all the time, all, all the time, all the time, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Maddie and I double team girls, Boston cream pie and style. You know <laughs> Is that what you wanted, Britons? You got it. <laughs> yeah. Jeremiah gets laid a lot. In fact, the other day I saw a saxophone blowing him. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. True. I'm, uh, I'm struggling, guys. It's <laughs> fucking De Niro right there. <laughs> oh shit! So you work at a high-end bar, uh, and you got the accent. You're clipping a lot. Doing okay. 
Yeah. And you've been working there a long time. So yeah. does any in your high end clientele ever pay you to do anything crazy or make you an offer you couldn't refuse or anything like that? You know, you ever have to like get rid of a body or anything weird or just like, hey, I'll give you a hundred <laughs> bucks if you put in a good word with me for this girl that's coming, anything like that? Nah. Yeah, you you ever no. do like an over the pants blow job or anything like that? One time, one time. You just stick the whole like jean in there, it's like, the whole zipper and everything. It's like choking on some fat denim. You ever do that, Maddie? <laughs> no. Have you? Have I, you ever I, done that? I've had some cool like celebrities and stuff come in. Yeah. Some Anyone that you want to talk about? Uh, Don Rickles was. A wow. Guy. Yeah. Him and Bob Newhart used to come in a lot uh, who? when Rickles Bob was. A, Bob who? Bob Newhart. <laughs> Bob New Hat came into the bad. Bob New Hat. Bob New Hat. <laughs> Man, that's cool. Did he make fun of you at all, Rickles? Every time he'd come in, he'd say something to me, like, you know, just joking around. And then right. him and New Hat and, um, fuck him. <laughs> all right, fuck you guys. Uh, it's hard to talk when you talk like this. Um, he would, they would, he would come out and he would say something to me every time. He'd say something like, he'd throw 20, he's, where's the bartender? Throw 20 bucks at the bar and go, go buy yourself a hotel or something like that. So one night he came out and he was like, uh, uh, what did he say? He goes, go, here's 20 bucks, go buy yourself a personality. And I slid the, t- yeah, right? But I was ready, sort of, like with my old man joke and I slid it across, back across the bar and I was just like, if it's anything like yours, I'm going to have to return it. <laughs> And then he looked at me and he goes, remember this face, kid? And I was like, that face? How can I forget that breath? Uh-huh. <laughs> and he just gave me a look and he walked away. And I feel a hand on my shoulder and I look over and it's new hot. And he goes, all right, take it easy. <laughs> he goes, good job, kid. Nobody gets him like that. And he walked out. So wow, was like, that's a very cool story. Uh, do you root for Notre Dame? I'm a Notre Dame fan, yeah. Uh, Brady? Bird or... Uh, Ted Williams, dude. Ted Williams. Uh, that's, that's who you got. Number one. You're buying drinks from. Brady. Right, we have yeah. to, I'm sorry, we sports. Have sports my whistle bad. On the, my uh, bad. Two rice. men were talking. Yeah. Oh, my, my God. Bad. <laughs> my bad. Jesus, Brett. Will you relax? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I've been doing, putting up with that shit for... You say Tom Brady been. one time and all your HGH comes out of your system. <laughs> <laughs> God. Here, here, gain gain five pounds. I don't need it. I like, I like it. I'm oh, okay. Come on. I'm secure. I'm sorry. Secure. <laughs> sorry, it's not Ohio State we're talking about. Jesus, all you're right. out of control. Well, you know what? This fucking kid's <laughs> accent's pissing me off. You love it. God. <laughs> I love it. So, Maddie, um, well, that's fun. Remind Are new kids on the block or new edition? New edition. All day? Uh, half the day. All Drop right. a new kid song on just to kind of change New it edition's up a R&B, bit. by the way. All right. That's where jo- Bobby Brown was from. What, what are you afraid of? Huh? What scares you? The Yankees. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like roller coasters. Really? I don't like them. Can't do it, huh? Nah. Huh. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Just never, never like Do you them. ever go on a roller coaster? I tried. My ex-girlfriend brought me on a roller coaster on my 30th birthday because yeah. she was really considerate. Yeah. And uh, she knew me. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and you rode one? And what happened? <laughs> I just, I rode it and I didn't like it. And right. I was like, it was, a bunch of my friends were at, the, at Six Flags. And uh, I was like, you guys go have fun. I'm going to find a bond and celebrate by myself. <laughs> this chick that made you ride the roller coaster. It's very Boston really- of you. Yeah, why not, right? Get drunk at Six Flags. <laughs> With all, with all the Latinos, with all their family members that are dead on, yeah, yeah, brushed on their turn. <laughs> it's the fucking thing that happens here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Maddie. It was a pleasure to meet you. There he goes, Maddie Fontana, you, ladies and gentlemen. And with that is another episode of Kill Tony. Rack them, stack them. We did them again. Brett Ernst has a new I, special I a, principal's office. I have a confession to make. Yes. I have a confession to make. Yes. Uh, Maddie opens for me a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Right or wrong? Look at that. All that banter seemed completely natural. Uh, you, you can catch more of Brett's acting chops in Cobra Kai. Just got picked up for season two on YouTube Red. Yeah. And uh, his podcast, You're on the List, brettcomedy.com to check out his new special. Anything else crazy you want to talk about? No, that's about it, man. Uh, yeah, just go to, if you want, just go. You can watch it for free. I released it for free. I was over it. Brett Ernst, ladies yeah, and just gentlemen. Just go to Brett Comedy. Back again. What's the date today? 
What is Today's this? Today's like the 11th, I think. What right? is this? May 14th. Oh, one week away from uh, Bert Kreischer will be the guest next week, ladies and gentlemen. The oh, machine. That's dope. Bert Kreischer will be here. Let me see the uh, That's the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt, RyanJEbelt.com for all prints, posters, and Kill Tony, Tony the book. Look alike. The great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, everybody, will be featuring for me in San Francisco this Thursday through Saturday. We have a Kill Tony on Saturday, too, but that's already sold out. But you can see the Kill Tony crew, some of us doing stand-up some of those nights, all of us on Saturday. Dude, and this was a lot of fun, man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Jeremiah has a new podcast out called Jeremiah Wonders. Anything else, Jeremiah? Yeah, listen to Jeremiah Wonders. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up and look out for my inflatable saxophones across the country. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I think you're going to sell a lot of them online. I think, uh, I think sales are blowing up right now. Um, Chroma, Chroma Chris. <laughs> Chroma Chris, what would you think about tonight's episode? You know, to oh, Tony, you almost made me break character. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, the, the, the always so wacky chroma, Chris. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez is in the back there, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be your last time really having the clap. Mostly sorry on all social yeah. media. He just deprivatized his Instagram account this it's week. public. I'm public. Yeah. And uh, watch Brett Ernst on This Is Not Happening. It's really funny. Peace oh, yeah. out, guys. TonyHinchcliffe.com for uh, uh, everything coming up. And in September, a reminder that we are in Detroit, Lansing, the 20th, Grand Rapids, the 21st, Detroit, the 22nd, doing Kill Tonys and stand-up shows. And uh, then Austin, Texas, the 26th in Texas, Fort Worth, the 27th, 28th, 29th, has the Kill Tony in Fort Worth. And then I'm doing stand-up at Zanies. October 4th, 5th, and 6th. Those tickets will sell fast. June 18th's already sold out, uh, but uh, maybe some will be released. Uh, we have to figure out exact seating for that and how we're going to seat comedians and how that's going to go. We're going to try to make more seats available as we New Kill Tony, New Kill Tony shirt number two is available yes. right now, shopsquad.tv. Yes, the New Kill Tony shirt is there, so make sure you get one of those. RyanJBelt.com for everything else. And uh, watch the video. Some people don't even know that there's videos of this. Yep. Go to Vimeo.com. Or DeskSquad.tv. Click on videos. Sure. All of it. Live audience, thank you so much. Have a good night, guys. See ya.